All right, guys, welcome to the ASUS suite. We'll be checking out motherboards here. We've got a white one, a multicolored one, and a small one. Let's go. Thank you to Squarespace for bringing us to CES 2016 this year. Check out a link to them in the video description down below. So like I said, starting with the white one, this is the Sabertooth uh, Z170S or Sabranco or whatever you want to call it. It looks pretty sick and that's kind of honestly the biggest point here. Unlike a lot of other Sabertooths, it doesn't have the armor on the front or the armor on the back or any of that kind of stuff. There's a minor rumor that there might be the ability to buy those as an add-on afterwards, but that's totally not a thing as of right now, so don't, don't bank on that. I think it looks super cool. In terms of headers and plugins and all that kind of stuff, it has a boatload of fan headers. I think it's 11 in total. There's one, there's four across the top, three on the right hand side, to three on the bottom, and then one in the middle of the board for a grand total of enough fans to literally take your entire computer off the ground. If, you, if you're tired of hoverboards, you can have a hover computer. I don't know. It's ridiculous. On the I.O. on the back, there's a bank of four USB 2.0 ports, another USB 2.0 port just to the right of that, a BIOS reset switch, DisplayPort, HDMI, dual USB 3.0, a gigabit Ethernet port, a USB 3.1 port, a USB Type-C port, and then a bank of audio plugins. Next up, we've got the multicolored, crazy, shiny one, which is the Maximus 8 formula, whose tagline is, see the light. We'll figure out why in a moment. First off, they've got some cool stuff like high performance water blocks co-designed by EK Water Blocks under these little rubbery grommets up here. And you're, you don't worry, you don't have to use those. Your computer will function just great without them. Now, in terms of I.O. on the back, I want to cover this real fast because it's absolutely insane. They have 2x2802.11ac Mu MIMO, so multi-user MIMO Wi-Fi through these two antenna ports right here. You've got a CMOS clear, you've got a BIOS reset. HDMI DisplayPort Quad USB 3.0 Gigabit uh, LAN USB 3.1 standard A connector or USB 3.1 type C connector, a PS2 port, which while some of you might think that's funny, I actually appreciate, so whatever, man. Uh, two more USB 3.0 ports and then a bank of audio ports. Now, I know I glossed over some things, but the main important thing about this is the new lighting stuff. So there's three lighting zones. There's one here, one more in the middle, and one up there. This area is not technically a lighting zone. It's always going to stay white, just so you guys know. But another cool thing is down at the bottom, there's this white little header, which is going to enable you to plug in a lighting strip and then use their ROG Aura lighting software to control that lighting strip and all the RGB lighting on the board so that they're all in sync, which is super cool because you could then bridge off of that lighting strip and make it even longer or go all around the case or make under lighting or whatever the heck you want and everything's going to be in sync and it's going to be nice and good. Last, but honestly, maybe least, we have the ASUS B150i Pro Gaming Wi-Fi Aura board, which would have maybe been helpful if you've seen the follow build, considering it is ever so slightly shorter in the heatsink department, and that might have actually helped me. Anyways, this is basically just a cheaper version of their currently available current generation ITX boards, which is really good to see because ITX being a value proposition is something that should definitely stay a thing and kind of wasn't for a little while there. It does have one funky feature, which is along the right hand side of the board, just under the board, or is it in the board? No, it's under the board, is RGB stuff. So just like we saw on the previous board, it has the Aura RGB lighting system. In terms of plugging in fans, you have three headers, two that are up and near the top right-hand-ish kind of corner, one that is just above where you'd plug in your expansion card. In terms of fancy features that it carries over from more higher-end boards, it does have 2x2 MIMO AC Wi-Fi, which is pretty badass, and an M.2 slot, which is hidden behind the board. It actually Kind of took me a sec to find that one. For I.O., you've got two USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 port, Badass. DVI, optical, HDMI, uh, USB Type C, Gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, that Wi Fi that we were talking about earlier, and a bank of audio ports. All right, guys, thanks for checking out our video at the ASUS suite. Unsurprisingly, ASUS has a bunch of cool new motherboard stuff coming soon. Thank you to Squarespace for sending us here to CES 2016. If you need to set up a website for any reason, maybe you're developing a VR game, I don't know, you could set up a Squarespace site. It would be super easy. You could do it in like less than a day. And if you had any problems, you could contact their 24 seven live support, either through live chat or through email. They have a whole bunch of different template designs. You could even set up a store. It's all super simple. Super simple, like Squarespace. 
Build it beautiful. Check out squarespace.com slash Linus and enter offer code Linus for 10% off on your next purchase. I'm gonna go do some fun things.